bouncy curls. I'm with it. I'm digging it. So we fade in the rhythm. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jim Rodriguez. Today, I am back with yet another Love Me Hair review. I promised you a new bob look. This is it, y'all. We're gonna go through some install techniques, talk fluffing, talk curls, talk maybe straightening this hair. So stay tuned for a full review and an install tutorial. I'll give you the 411 on the color and how it's really feeling. Coming up next. Depending on whether or not I actually leave the wig cap on, I did go ahead and add some foundation to that too. Already I've colored my lace as well, so I'm gonna add some foundation to the lace before putting it on this time to see if that actually helps. Blend things in a little bit easier and saves me an extra step. I just kinda wanna see off the rip how it's gonna blend in, so we're gonna check that out. So I've got it cut in thirds to kind of help with laying it down. So I'm gonna start at the front because that's the part I care about the most. We're just gonna get that out the way and then we'll do the sides. It's not looking too shabby. Difference between melted, not melted quite yet. at a good spot so I'm gonna add a little bit more of my foundation anywhere I see where there's a little bit of a cast a little lighter of a cast maybe some of the makeup came off or I can just kind of re-establish that that blending so I'm using my Juvia's Palace again in Benin I think it's called I'm just gonna start over here where I can see it the most really just try to blend in that line of demarcation And for me, again, I'm using not necessarily something that totally matches my foundation, but what I contour with, that's what I'm using. I feel like it'll help hide it and conceal it a little bit better if I use a darker color there, as opposed to trying to match, like for example, what I put under my eyes or use concealer. We're getting up close and personal. So now that our wig is on, let's style this thing. Let's get it together. <laughs> a little bit more to the point where it's dripping and that's almost almost too wet for me right now you guys this texture is so pretty look at this this looks really pretty wet i like it i like it okay so we're gonna add a little mousse i'm using the same mousse i used in my last video the bb thickening full form soft mousse this worked really well, you guys. I promise when I went to refresh my hair the next day, I didn't really have to add more mousse to it or anything crazy like that. Like it really helped hold the curl. Even after a couple days, it really helped hold the curl. So this right here, it's enough for me, boo. <laughs> Alright 
you guys as the last step, I'm gonna add a little bit of gel. We have the Pro Style Gel here. This gel has a little color to it. It's kind of like a brownish color, so I'm gonna be careful with it. But I'm using just a little bit of this guy. So I'm kind of starting in the front, again, working at the bottom, working my way up, using my fingers to manipulate everything. While I have a little bit of slit, I'm just gonna finger roll away from the face. Not to take away from the natural curl pattern too much, but this helps to kind of give it a little training and a little bit of style. This is such a good technique too, if you're looking for a little bit more volume or up and down with some of the length. This is all one length right now and I don't really wanna cut it the first time I'm showing it to you guys. So this is gonna help give me a little, little lift in some places, leave it longer in some places. It's like a way to kind of fake the funk with the length in my brain. It doesn't really take away from the pattern at all. It just gives us some control. Control. Go ahead and blow dry again i don't know what's going on i don't know where my diffuser is but we're going to diffuse the best we can i've got my temperature on low and my speed is going to be on low so we're going to take it nice and slow and get this to be where it's about 85 90 percent dry so i'm going to do a little fluffing Fluff, 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 where I want to see it. So that's my video for today, you guys. It's my last hair review of 2021. Okay. I'm definitely feeling this wig. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I am digging this style. It's good for the workplace. It's good for the bohemian low-key vibe if you want it to. You can kind of toss it off to the side for more of a sultry look. So there's definitely a lot of versatility with this wig. I'm really curious on how it straightens, to be honest, because I love this color. I think it's really, really cute. And I think with a nice, sleek look, um, it looks great now, but I think the color will pop um, as well with a nice sleek look. So if I go ahead and straighten it, I will definitely hop back on and show you guys what it looks like. Make sure you check out the description box for a link on how to purchase this wig. Plus, you know, there's a discount code, Gen20, to save those coins. I will catch you guys again later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the love. Bye. Happy holidays and happy new year. Mwah. Love y'all.